Today we're going to explore how the next filament maker works, and what to know before making your own spool of filament. Let's start off by connecting the power and switching it on. There is a USB connection to your computer which makes it possible to easily update your machine and log data during extrusion. Now let's first talk about how this filament extruder works. The core of the system is an extruder screw, which is being rotated by a motor with a gearbox. Heat applied from friction and the four heaters around the screw bring the granulate-shaped material into a molten state. This material proceeds into three zones before it is formed into filament. Granulate resin is fed into the extruder's screw at the feeding zone, where heater 4 also heats it up. The material is starting to melt at the transitioning zone, and pressure is generated as a result of the tapered screw design. Then in the metering zone, completely melted material gets mixed by the mixing section of the screw. The liquid material then proceeds through the bend and exits out the 4mm nozzle. This nozzle is attached to the knee with a compression fitting. This is the interface's home screen. It shows the machine's state, the set temperatures and actual temperatures of all heaters, the selected extrusion preset, whether the hopper is filled or not, the extruder's screw speed in rounds per minute, and the measured filament diameter. By pressing the button, access is gained to the main menu. In the settings menu, you can adjust the machine's settings specifically for your extrusion run. If you wish to save the new settings, press apply. The material presets contain settings for multiple polymers and can be added by saving custom settings or doing a software update. These presets can be used as a guideline in finding the right settings for your material. Now let's take a look at the hopper. The optical sensor inside the hopper shows a warning on the display whether the hopper is running empty. The fans on the front are for cooling down the filament. Make sure both are positioned at the same angle for even cooling and point it away from the nozzle to prevent cooling of the nozzle. The amount of cooling can be arranged by adjusting the fan speed in the settings menu. This is the optical control system, also known as the filament sensor. Based on the measured filament thickness, the polar mechanism is automatically adjusted to pull the filament to the desired thickness. For accurate measurement, it is important that the sensor is kept clean and the filament is positioned perfectly vertical. The measured thickness is displayed on the home screen. The polar mechanism exists of two wheels that clamp filament in place using spring tension. Filament is guided to the spool using a positioner. When properly set up, a neat spool can be created. Spools must be attached to a spool holder, which must first be unscrewed in order to attach the spool. The spool holder has a special hole which fits perfectly over the spool mount in the machine. On the other side, the slipper clutch can be adjusted in order to adjust the tension on the filament during spooling. This tension should be strong enough so the filament is spooled neatly, but not too strong. This can unwillingly deform the filament. Close the door to prevent disruption that can be caused by your local environment.